Hey guys, it's Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I haven't really like talked to you guys, I feel, so let's get started. Alright, I don't really know what I'm gonna do at all, so let me look at my drawer real quick. So I'm gonna throw it back just a little bit. I thought I should do a look with the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one. Um, you know, this this girl right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. So I've already toned and moisturized my face using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love that stuff. And now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with some Morphe Eyelid Primer. This is just the translucent shade. I haven't touched the Jaclyn Hill palette in a long time, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was my go-to for a long time, but I actually have gotten so many other palettes that, like, it's just kind of been neglected and, like, in my drawer, like, just hanging out, like, no love shown to it. So, I'm kind of excited to show it some love today and create a look for you guys. Um, but how are you guys doing? Are you doing okay? I am just about finished with my six week 20 pound challenge and I'm just about there. I'm gonna weigh in in a couple days. Um, this might be after the fact when I post this video but um, at this moment I'm about two or three days away from being over with the challenge and I only need to lose like 0.1 pound um, so I'm pretty much there 20 pounds down. I'm about like 30 35 pounds down since September. Yes, so it keeps, makes me really excited to like keep going and try more stuff and um, Actually, I'm going to do a 16 week challenge um, After this and I'm so excited. It is more flexible. It is more sustainable and I just can't wait to like transform my body Yes, would you guys if you guys would be interested in seeing maybe updates while I do a 16 week challenge to transform my body, um, go ahead and give this video a big, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see that and um, then I'll start trying to create content for you guys. I don't know if that's something that would be interesting to you guys, but if it is, hit that thumbs up button, okay? Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and jump on into this palette. I don't know what I'm doing with this palette right now, but I'm just going to go in and just, just give myself some type of look. This is the third shade in on the first row. This is a nice light transition color. Um, I am... So let's see, what else is going on in my life? I'm about done with my 20 pound challenge. I am going to start a 16 pound challenge. I am also currently <clears throat> in my first course of my spring semester of my master's program. And I am so far doing pretty well. I have an A so far, but my instructor is a little slow on grading, so... We'll see what happens, but I'm on module five right now of seven, so about two more weeks, and then it'll be over, and then um, I'll start another class, so that'll be exciting. Um, I'm really enjoying my master's. I've um, been elected to be into two, I guess, groups at my work, so there's this group called the BIC group, so this is kind of like a... Um, a checklist and it pro it kind of like um, teaches you like supervisor tasks I guess so then you know you can promote once you have your master's degree um, there is an opportunity possibly like if it, if it comes up that I could become like a low-level supervisor before I'm done with my master's program so it all just depends I, I don't know you know when anything would happen but this program, um, this like checklist, this program that I'm in will definitely, you know, set me up to at least have the knowledge of things that I would need to do in order to be a good supervisor and to um, support the behavior interventionists. 
Um, also at work, I was nominated by my um, supervisors to be part of the culture team. It's always weird when you say culture because a lot of people think of culture as in like ethnicity or like your family background or like who, like if you're like Hispanic or Polynesian or African or you know, you think of culture like that but that's not exactly what it means. Um, so the culture team at the company that I work with, I'm going to be one of the BIs who kind of like, I think of it as kind of like a cheerleader, we're kind of like assessing the company's culture, you know, like what are we doing for our, for our, you know, our colleagues? Is it, you know, um, I don't even know how to explain this, but is it, are we helping them, you know, do the best that they can? Um, promoting events, like if we have events going on. Um, we haven't met yet, but I'm just really excited to be one of the BIs on that group because, um, only two BIs were chosen and I was one of them so that makes me really excited to be recognized like that at my work. Um, let's see. This 2020, this year, I'm so excited to really better myself and I really want to, um, I really want to Changed my life, to be honest. Like, I'm looking forward to doing new things, becoming um, a healthier person, becoming somebody who is happy and um, just kind of fulfilling more of what I feel I am destined to do. And I feel like my mindset right now is in a good spot and you know, I can do it, <laughs> but you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so I mean, right now things are good. My work is good. Um, I did lose a client and I miss him so much, but you know, that happens. So what can you do? You can't, can't do anything about it. Um, just got to keep, keep going, keep doing my work, focusing on my other clients. I have no idea what look I'm going for, but right now it's looking pretty brown. But that's okay, right? So I would love to hear your feedback on what kind of videos you want to see from me. I know I just did an Aaron Condren video and I will be having a FabFitFun video coming up if it's not already up. And um, obviously I've been doing makeup, but you know, what do you want to see from me? Do you like the variety? Do you want me to just stick to one thing, like only do makeup? Or like what what would you like to see from Lana, okay? Let Lana know. Leave a comment down below of what you want to see from me. Um, I would really appreciate your feedback. Um, I love getting notifications that I have comments from you guys. It makes me really happy. And I feel like you actually care. And um, it's just nice to feel like people care for me, you know? It's just sweet it's real sweet and um if you haven't already you should subscribe and hit that notification bell that way you're notified every time i upload you can see what's going on first so you could be in the know you could be like eh, i already know you could tell your friends be like look what she's doing look at this video what do you think so yeah if you haven't already subscribe um, I do see that there are some of you who are watching and who are not subscribing. I see it. I see it. I promise. Just join my family. Let's be friends. I also have Instagram and um, TikTok if you want to follow me there. Both Alana Jane. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward there. Alana Jane. All right, let's pick a color. I'm going to go into a shimmer shade that's pretty much my go-to out of the shade. It's probably my most used. And it looks kind of like my background. Ooh. I'm just going to press that in with my finger. Hmm. It's kind of nice. So currently I'm going to take um, that same 
shimmer shade that I used on a wet brush just to kind of make it a little bit more pigmented, really brighten it up. Okay, so for now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyebrows. I need to get my eyebrows threaded. It's been a minute. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and actually prime my nose area with the Tarte Primer. And I'm going to use the Blendiful to smear this in. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and use some foundation. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear long Foundation in 150. I'm going to go ahead and pump it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to dot it on. Well, smear it on. Man, this stuff smells so good. And then I'm going to take my Blendiful and blend it out. Honestly, ever since I got the Blendiful, I haven't touched a sponge. Honestly. I'm not even... It's like, it's just easy and... I, I really like it. Have you guys tried the Blendiful? I would love to hear if you have. Um, and if you haven't already, you should watch my Blendiful video because, come on, show my videos love. We all want to feel loved and belong. Belonging. I don't know what I'm saying, but show me love and belonging, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and take the Jeffree Star um, concealer in C7. And conceal my face. I fold up my Blendiful like that. I kind of bring it down the nose. And then I blend out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And set my face. For me it's really important to really get in the creases of my nose. Um, but I don't want to push too much because sometimes this causes, um, sometimes when I push too much, it kind of makes my foundation look crazy and then I want to just throw in the towel and give up, so be gentle, be gentle. I'm just going to use this and pretty much set my whole face just to keep it. On all day. I'm gonna go ahead and do some bronzer with my Fenty bronzer. You guys, I am so ready for like moderately warm weather. Like, not terribly hot because sometimes here it gets terribly hot, but like, I just want it to be warm enough where like I can go swimming and it's okay. Alright, you guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to blush. I'm using my Orgasm Blush from NARS. So right now I'm actually going into the Jaclyn Hill Mood Light Powder in the shade Doomy. Right. Now that I have put on bronzer and blush, a little bit of a face highlight. Um, I'm not done with highlight though. Don't get me twisted. I'm not done with highlight, but I'm going to zoom you back in so I can finish my under eye shadow. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to take a flat brush. And I'm going to use the darkest shade that I put on my eyelid. And I'm going to kind of stamp that close to the lash line like an eyeliner. But I only take it like halfway. Next thing that I'm going to do is I took this small brush and I added some, um, some of my transition shade here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend the edges of this line that I stamped. Just to make it look a little bit more... Um, blended and not like just a crazy line underneath my lash line. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to be a little bit weird, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to go ahead and take the Morphe Falling for Green Eyeliner and put this in my waterline. So it's a little bit weird, but I kind of like it. I feel like it's going to bring out the green in my eyes a little bit more. I'm going to go back, back with that um, flat pencil brush and bring some more of that brown 
in. Going back in with that transition shade and really blending my eyes. Alright you guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. I'm actually going to use the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in Androgyny. Okay, so I do feel like it's like a little bit dark, so I'm actually going to take Dubai from Ofra, Ofra Cosmetics. Tap it in the middle. Alright you guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish off by highlighting and setting my face. Right now I'm going to dip into the Jaclyn Hill Beaming Light Highlight in Extra. You guys, this highlight is just wild. I'm going to take a small little brush and do my eyebrow highlight. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy and I will see you on the next one. Bye!